Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm going to be talking about this time this Hexbox, um, this Hexbug uh, robotics set. It's not doesn't have a robot in it. It's actually just a little space exploration set, and this this one get, has a um, aerial drone and a mech uh, mech uh, loader. It also has a control center, and it has um, more than a few little figures. Now inside this box, there's approximately, uh, according to this, um, hmm, hmm, 225 pieces, and um, the the models are actually kind of kind of cool. But let's take a look at what what you get. You get it in the box is more than a few bags of these astronauts. I have two of these that, and I actually built one. There's a total of three. So here's what uh, the little guy looks like. And what's interesting about him is that he has joints and um, they have a tendency not to stay on, as you can tell. But there, he also has a hole in his foot so you can stick a, stick a peg in and uh, secure him to, to a base. Now with these, the instructions are one sheet, like so, and for the most part, this is an easy thing. Not enough pieces to get complicated. And then you have, have a sheet of stickers that you can put on, um, including name plates for, for your dude. So it could be a male or female, this is a, a unisexual kind of design. So. You get one of these guys. Well, you get three of them. I just took one out. But you also get this. This is a mech loader. And if you take a look, it opens up. that opens up. You can stick him inside and there. It has two wheels and a, and a caster in the back. So off it goes. You can go pretty much where you want it to. Now, if you take a look here, you'll notice that I put the sticker in the wrong place here, um, but not here. And part of part of the reason why that happened is that the, uh, the instructions to the mech loader are also one sheet, which is good, because then you don't lose the sheet. It's not like you lose a book or anything. The printed in color, that's nice. But one, uh, one big flaw that they have is that their sticker placement on their, on their, um, on their instructions don't match up to what you see on, on the box art. This can make things a little bit confusing, if not a little bit frustrating. And the funny thing is, is that these stickers don't let go once you put them down. So you have have the stickers here. I would recommend when you're building, the, uh, when you put the stickers on, match them up to the box art and not to the instructions. So, <clears throat> interesting detail. This can, this can go up or down, which is pretty neat. And you have a little cherry picker there. Now the big question is, is that the set has this, which I'll put over this side here, then it has this. And this is a drone, and if you take all these move, and if you have enough hot air, you can make those, those spin. I didn't put stickers on this time. Um, I, Usually when I build stuff, unless they're accurate models or authentic models, stickers are a second thought to me, so I don't generally build it. Also with things like this, where you have to build, or you have the opportunity to build other things, stickers can be um, something of a, a pain in the rear to deal with. But this, what's neat about this is that it uh, has a, basically a landing stand. So you have this, 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 and that. 
Now you can drive this guy up and you can go take a look and whatever. These, they went through a trouble making these. So my question is, why don't they have something for it to really hold? That's something that bothers me. Um, and this, it's a nice solid model. Nice and has a lot of a lot of swoosh potential. And uh, what's nifty is that this is all Vex IQ standard stuff. So you can actually pop all these off and on make different things. And the last thing here, which is a common model for a couple of the Vex robotic sets that are out, is a control center, which is this. And it has, I put the stickers on because uh, I got another set which has one of these, which uh, you have to put the stickers on. I haven't built that yet, but this comes with a little, little bot that can go around and pick up stuff, I guess, with the little peg. And my astronaut in here can go stick his foot here and hello. The solar panels move as well as the monitors. So you do that and that. And this can go on that. Boop, boop. So there you go. This all comes in one set. And um, in terms of playability, it's, it's not bad. The drone is large enough such that, well, um, you'd think it'd be able to pick this guy up. Uh, the mech, the mech loader makes me want to wish, wonder what a mech looks like, which I guess is one of the things they want you to do. Um, and the command center, generally speaking, um, I want more to it. I want more substance. So this is like a platform, and if this is on Mars or whatnot, which is what they want you to put it on, uh, this is sort of like an outside outpost, and um, you just sort of, you know, do your exploration within a given tether, or not. You can take the tether off, and just go places. So, this is what you can do with this set. Now, if you give me a few moments, let's see what I can come up with with the parts. Hey, so I guess you wonder what I built. I had to take apart some stuff. The command center, the command center and the drone, and the drone were the casualties, as you can see. Uh, there, there are pieces here that look cool, but don't translate well into things you can do. So I had to do some thinking, but it didn't take me all that long. In fact, it only took me just a few moments. Here's a throwaway thought that would be really cool. Uh, you have feet. Now, if you get these short enough, you can have like that. Turn them inwards, so that like that. And then you need to find the right piece. The hardest part in building is figuring out the right piece. So you would go like this, and if I say another counterpart to this, I'd be really nice, but I may have used it in my building. So, but if you did that, and then you did this, you have the beginning of a robot there. Then you just have to build like a little body. Um, well, that's, um, hmm. I got a little distracted here. Um, I guess we'll just leave this one be for the moment because I want to show you what I already built. I'll put him over to right there. No, after turning down the drone, what was really cool is that you can use these props right here. 
and reconfigure them slightly and you end up with this. This is from the mech loader. The rest of the pieces here mostly are from the, um, the drone. So you have the, the fans. Has the landing gear. And he can fit one person. And what's cool is that you know, he's kind of swooshable. So you can have him fly around. And uh, I just I just wanted to come up with something. Since the drone was so big, it made sense to make something with a figure in it. Now what's really cool is that since I cleared the command center with a little bit of fiddling around, I came up with this. We now have a landing pad for him. So he can land right there. And then he can walk down off of here, meet up with his robot, and we actually have a reason for the mech thing working out so tall. Although this probably wouldn't be needed. But now we have something that can actually meet up with the guy if we wanted to, and um, also repair this thing so but this like I said is essentially it's very stripped down there's like maybe 20 30 pieces in this tops this was just stripping down the um, man center and then taking the panels and pop pointing them out and um, I kind of like him so I left him alone and I really like this but I couldn't resist but to put the top of this here. So this is what you can do with this set. And this is me just playing around with it over a few minutes. I didn't think about this over the past couple of weeks or anything. I just sort of looked at it and said, well, you can do this. And thankfully the part assortment is there such that you can do this. Uh, so we'll be trying this with other, the other set that we've got, but um, this isn't bad. I do, for some odd reason, really like the shape and design of this, but my thought is, I really want something to go with it. So, anyway, so I will see you later.